there's only three eggs left in the basket. But I'm still feeling lucky. Are you feeling lucky? Yes, I'm feeling lucky. Bring it on. Ooh, unlucky. We're heading to Great Britain, the collective name for England, Wales and Scotland. Scotland is pretty wacky. It's claimed there's a real live monster named Nessie living here in a deep lake called Loch Ness. Our first stop is Swayton in England, where we'll be checking out more of the wacky local culture. I love trees. I bet you can name every single tree in this street. Go. Starting with... Oh, oh. What's that? It's an egg. That's another one. I think a bird's Look, nest is one. broken. Look, there's another one. It's like a trail of them everywhere. Hey, how are you going? Hey, what's going... Oh. Get, hey, come back! What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, there's something a bit wacky going on here. Where are we? Welcome to Scrambled Head! Get back here! Take a seat! You ask. You ask. You ask. You ask. No, you ask. You ask. I'm not asking, you ask. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to the World Egg Throwing Federation headquarters, Swayton in Lincolnshire. Egg what? Oh, this is where they hold the Egg Throwing World Championships. And one of the games is this. You choose from a box of eggs, all of which have been hard-boiled apart from one. You've got to use your skill and judgement to identify the raw egg and avoid it. To prove you haven't got the raw egg, you smash it onto your own forehead. So you smash every egg that you pick up onto your face? Yes, but you're taking in turns. Ladies first. Excellent. Hope you don't end up with egg on your face. That one. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Perfectly hard-boiled. Did I mention I'm a bit of a psychic? Mash my rakiness. Straight in. See this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So what is the history of this, or is this just what you guys do on the weekends? Egg throwing and catching has been going on in Swayton since 1392, when the priests used to throw eggs to the starving peasants across the flooded river. So was that how a real game goes on, just like yeah, that? Yeah, you came in just halfway through a game between the uh, four ladies we changed, trained up against the four fellas. Let's keep the games going. It's competition time. And it's a classic duel to the finish. Each of the girls from my team going egg to head with Team Gilly. First to crack four raw eggs loses. Team Gilly's first raw egg makes a cracking start for all the wrong reasons. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched, Ambo. Your team's cracked one back. And another! You guys seem to have plenty of raw talent, Gilly. <gasps> It's so close and so exciting. Ah! It's 3 0 and level egging. Guys, it's now 50 50. It's got to be the deciding match between you two. So for the final, Amber, choose your egg. <laughs> Gilly, your turn. I'm a big believer in luck. Good man. Blind luck. Oh, please. Your luck can't hold against my psychic mind power. I just need a bit of focus. And my lucky bandana's on, Amber. Hit the light! Lights! And it all boils down to this. Uh... There's only three eggs left in the basket. But I'm still feeling lucky. Are you feeling lucky? Yes, I'm feeling lucky. Bring it on. Ooh, unlucky. The girls win! So I talked a big game about luck, and the luck didn't go my way today. A egg straight in the head, fellas. I'm sorry I let you down there. I was the team captain. Shame and on you. Shame on me, exactly. Shame on no, shame. If I had another egg, I'd throw it at my own face. It was a poor performance. Go on, do another one. Because it just wasn't good enough out there. Go on, crack it. Just poor, just a poor performance. I thought she's going loopy, but uh, she's the winner and I've got egg on my face. You know what to do. <laughs> Heading north from England to Scotland, a country crammed with quirkiness. Like the fact that the dudes here wear skirts. Uh, they're called kilts and when worn with a sporran attached, it forms Scotland's traditional dress. 
Luckily for us, kilt maker to the stars Howie has agreed to help kit us out. Hey. Wow! Hello. Hello. Oh, that is looking it. awesome, awesome. Great colour coordination. Hey, good job. Red, Modern purple. kilts like this one have pockets, so I won't be needing a sparring. Plus, I'll save a few pounds if I don't have to buy one. So what do you think of this, like, lengthwise? I feel like That's I'm showing... That's perfect. That's nice and casual. The most you can show is a bit more knee. Yeah, not too much leg. That's what Queen Victoria wanted the Scottish regiments to wear it. I don't think a dude looks good. No, no, no it's a bit sort of Trojan. You're OK yeah. with shorts, but it can get to the point that it's too, well, it's too much. OK, Howie, it's my first time in a kilt. Biggest fear all along was sitting down. Can you show me how to do it properly? And be modest while I do it. That's, uh... Cool. Key is always sit on your plates. So that's not... it. You're, you're cool like that. That's all right. I have a big tendency to cross to... like that. And that's oh. a. Ooh, somebody needs to update their boxes. I think I've seen enough. I'm going to let you guys, you know, talk okay. about your sitting. Now, time to get back to the action. Where were we? We're in Edinburgh, home of the Greyfriars Bobby statue. Legend has it that this loyal terrier stood guarding the grave of his owner for a whole 14 years after he died. People rub Bobby's shiny nose for good luck. Send some over here, Bobby. Not that I'll be needing it. Loving all things Scottish, but our friends have something new for us to try. Let me guess, cultural treats with a twist? Yep, Molly and her mates have come up with two very unappealing options for us in a round of Would You Rather. A little bit of culture, Would You Rather time. Molly, what's our options? Would you rather put the porridge in the wellies and dance in them? Or oh, what's the other one, Fraser? Or let us fizz up all the juice and pour it all over you. OK. Ooh, according to wacky Scottish tradition, you should always eat porridge standing up, but standing in it hasn't really been recommended before. Scottish-made orange soda is hugely popular here, but not usually in the face. All right, let's okay. flip the coin. Okay, All right, Ambo, that. call it in the air. Ready? Yeah. Heads. It's tails. Oh, no! OK, that means i got to do one. OK, right. Uh, so, Ambo, what would you rather, mate? Gluggy gum boots or a sugar shower? I think, I think we're going to go the fizzy drink, don't you reckon? Fizzy, 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 Let's not have this fizzle out just yet. It was really cool. I don't normally drink carbonated drinks, so it was really cool to experience this this way. It was a close. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fizzy drink? <laughs> Is that the porridge? Is that the porridge? Did you put porridge on it? Porridge hurling. I wonder if that's in the Highland Games.